this idea of swinging up, opening up, then lifting up, right? So you can see on that one, the way I kind of lifted up with the hit. And the reason why this drill is important is because, well, one, because it gives you the best sort of chance if you're struggling to put the sequence together to feel what's right and wrong. But second to this, timing in the golf swing is really important. So you don't want to kind of outrace the hips, even though it's extremely unlikely, right? Especially if working correctly. You want to make sure things are working in a sequence and timing is effectively a sequence. So it's very important. It's swing up towards the top, open up your lower body, try and get the feeling of your belt buckle going more down to the ground to put more pressure in towards that lead heel. From here, then the arm will be brought down. You'll bring the club down to horizontal and then just try and get up and through the ball. Now, you're trying to teach your brain if you struggle with this, you're basically trying to teach your brain and you need to persevere if you're struggling with it, that, they, that you can hit the ball from this position. Because over time, then what you can start to do is that you can start to speed the process up. So it's very much like learning how to dance. You would do it very methodically, very slowly first, right? Almost a little bit tedious. And then from there, you can start to speed the process up. And it's a really important sequence of events because these are the must movements in the golf swing. The separation is a must move. The elbow drive is a must move. Getting up and through the ball is a must move. Things that are subject to the individual would be how you necessarily release the club, how open your shoulders would be at impact. But the things that this is a really important sequence of events. If you get one of these wrong, then you're generally gonna see inconsistencies in your game. So 